on guys, so uh, it's been a long night of uh, cutting aluminum, drilling aluminum, playing with aluminum, which I'm not very fond of, <laughs> but it, it worked out best for this, this build because I needed something lightweight to help uh, allow our air suspension to work. See, I've got the front end all blown apart here, I've got the front axle off, and I'm hoping I don't have to adjust the rear four link because this is a nightmare to try to take apart and put back together and take apart. Um, I only have four screws in the bed holding it to the inner structure that I've made. Um, I hope you saw how I did it. It's not super complicated. I tried to offset some of the screws to add some rigidity so it doesn't flex under movement or getting hit into things or things stuff like that. But now the bed is attached and the suspension tracks up and down. See we've got a little bit of a offset. The tire moves back and then forward and then back forward. But I think it's going to be alright. Um, I'm counting on spacing out the front axle with the uh, cantilever mounts. So right now the, the front axle is about three millimeter, four millimeter too far to the rear and I'm counting on putting in a shock mount or a rod end in that uh, link suspension up here. You see I've got the uh, link still hanging out there. I've got the front axle off. But that's going to be our cantilever mount and uh, yeah. This feels pretty good. It's not flush against the bottom because there, there were some spots where I glued uh, some styrene to the bottom of the seams. Where these, this was a three piece bed, a three piece 3D print. But uh, it's definitely giving it support. We're going to have eight screws holding it in place. I only have four in there now just because I'm tired of taking it apart. Um, while I was putting this all together, I did break the bed. Um, I already broken it once on the other side, and I glued it back together with the epoxy. And this time I broke this side right here where I've cut out for the tire well. So I have glued that back together with epoxy and I hit it with some AK rust streaks to try to blend it. Looks pretty good. Not too worried about it. I'm just going to let it dry overnight before I keep messing with it because it is kind of fun here to keep lifting everything. Alright, so you can see it all in place. I've actually got the bolts up here. I only put one in for now, just, you know, trying to keep it where I can blow it apart as needed. In case I need to adjust the uh, four link links or anything like that, I need to pull the bed off. Uh, not No clue yet how I'm going to mount the body. Um, you can see one of the hurdles I had to overcome back here. Because this has storage for the ramps, which I have not even painted yet. I forgot all about them. I don't even, I think I know where they are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had to bend those in. I'd already clearanced them and everything, but it wasn't narrow enough the way I had it set up to fit between the uh, ramp storage boxes. But um, made it work, and it's still going to give plenty of strength back there. Like I said, there's eight mounting points for the bed to the frame, to the structure. And um, if I need to, this is going to be strong enough, even mounted with four screws, it's still going to be strong enough to... Mount some of the candy lever stuff off of. I'm not sure how all that's going to work yet. Um, my Pro Air RC kit. Let me bring the uh, base kit over here. So you can see this is a pretty big assembly. So I've left room about in there for this control unit. We've got our front struts and our rear struts. Maybe vice versa. The labels came off of them. <laughs> Apparently it matters which one goes on front and rear. But um, I could possibly work the rear from this direction, but I think I've got plenty of room in here. I could I could put this unit, a normal stick pack battery, and these struts with the candy lever mount in here and not have any problems. There's a lot of room. That's about three and a half inches deep at its deepest point. Back here, it's about an inch and three quarters. So I'm not worried about space. This. One thing this, this build afforded me was a lot of room underneath the body. And that's why I opted to use this Pro Air RC kit on it. Because it would allow me to actually get it down low and still have everything tucked underneath and hidden. Um, 
As far as the cantilever mount, that is going to be the biggest challenge because with this laid out, the RC4 drive 4 link mount, the truss that goes across the axle, is flush against the body. And even with the, where I've clearanced the uh, frame rails out right there, where the aluminum bolts to the steel in both places, I'm running about a 3 millimeter spacer on both sides. And that is because I needed that extra width to clear the uh, truss, to clear the actual suspension where the leaf springs mount on the RC four wheel drive axle. That fits perfectly inside of these rails here. So I had to space everything away from my steel rails to give me that, that clearance. And um, worked out pretty well. I'm not, not upset with that at all. It, it fits in there nice and snug. Might actually make a little noise as it goes in and out because it is pretty tight. This axle does, well it's the heim joints, they give you a little bit of side to side movement. <clears throat> but um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. But anyway guys, I appreciate you watching and I will be sure to keep you up to date on Instagram and Facebook, RC Every Day. If you haven't checked it out, give it a look. Follow along if you're interested in seeing what's going on behind the scenes. And um, yeah, keep it scale. I'll see you all in the next video.